Hey everyone, Ryan Thompson with Pyro CMS here. Um, I've got a task to do something that I think is probably pretty common. And I wanted to catch a video of it. Um, I've got a virtualized stream streams module namespace here, so it's over here in the sidebar. It's behaving like an add-on, um, but it's not an add-on. It's a virtualized stream via the streams module. So that kind of puts us in a pickle as far as we, uh, as far as like modifying things because we don't necessarily have like an add-on to just go and change the code so we need to tell the streams module um, how to do certain things and in this case uh, what I'd like to do is donations are they use a, a relationship to a payment um, if we want to pop this open this is all demo stuff but so we we bind a payment from the payments module here and that's where the name and stuff is coming from um, and then we just capture the amount so what we want to do is make it so that we can search by the first name or last name of of uh, the donate the donator donate donator yes so what we're going to do is we're going to override this this table builder join the payments on the payment ID and then create a custom filter to go ahead and filter said things. So let's hop to it. Uh, first things first, <clears throat> we do have. Um, actually, that's a bad idea because there's a ton of payments. Let's do. Um, this is the the configuration. What I've done just per documentation, uh, created a configuration file. This is for the donations namespace, the donations stream. I'm overwriting its table. So if I were to remove the pledge number filter, for example, we've got control of this of this table already. So what I really want to do is override the builder and hopefully keep these things as is. And then what I'm going to do is start joining using a callback. So let's create the table first. Donation table. Builder, and this is just in their theme. Ah, extends our base table builder. We shouldn't need to define a model or anything on this. I think the, the streams configurator will do that for us. Let's see. Oops. And then let's see if we've got a hold on on this public function. So let's see if we've got a hold of it. We do. Okay. So on query, I believe is what it is. Must be querying. All right. We're going to pull in the eloquent query builder, I believe. Just real quick, see if we can modify it. We can. Okay, so let's see. Ugh, ugh. I'm going to join the payments table on. Um, let's see. Shouldn't error out, I don't think. Okay. Let's see here. So we've done our join. <clears throat> Let's see. Mm 
Yeah. So we're going to want first name. And last name to be able to select I know. Uh so let's see. Let's come over here. Let's make this a search. And we'll do fields. So we'll search that field. Okay. And then we'll also want to define some custom columns for it to search. Let's see if we can just do this. There it is. Okay. First name, we'll add last name. Um, I think we will add I think we'll have the transaction or something like that, like the transaction ID. Maybe that might be helpful. Transaction reference. Yeah, yeah. So if these were ambiguous, we would have to do something like this, and then I believe we would use we would want to use ref in our uh, filtering. But since these columns are going to be unique in our select, um, we can just reference them directly here. So we're going to search through fields, and the reason we we separate we could easily go like this because pledge number happens just to be a text field, and so it has a pledge number column. But the reason that we use fields here is so that if it doesn't have a standard naming structure or if the filter needs something else uh, or maybe the, the field has a specific kind of filter type or filter query that it needs to do, the logic, we put it up here in fields so that it's um, it can do its, its magic through streams. These are just raw column values so um, keep that in mind when, when using the search filter. Okay, so Transaction references in there. That'll be nice. It's not going to separate, or it's not going to concat the first and last name. I guess that would be kind of nice. See if I can. Ah, we'll just leave it as is for now. <clears throat> I don't feel like looking up the SQL. <laughs> so that's the gist of it. Um, basically, all we did was add this builder um, to the equation. What we could also do is bind this builder to the streams um, key that it's looking for. The let's see, it would be this. This is what we would want to bind oh no we got that there where was it here it is <clears throat> this is what we would want to bind if we just wanted to skip configuration and go straight to this is the builder it sets the model for us but since we already had configuration from before and we're working with it I thought it would just be easier to add the uh, the builder and keep appending and there you have it relatively easy uh, join um, I do want to point out one thing there's a new uh, PyroCMS 3.7 introduces the idea of translating queries 
So after you, uh, a lot of people want to filter custom um, translatable content. So you would use this, translate no argument, or you could pass the locale that you want to, to translate to um, or preferred to, and then you can search that way as well. Just a quick tidbit there, but um, I'm going to leave this as is, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.